Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. In this video, we are going to see the DLP data loss prevention. And it takes us to device management. So, uh, this thing tells me that this is an external link. And, yep, so it's basically in the home page of Admin Center. And my phone devices my phone devices mobile something so device policies again admin center device 2 we can click on it it's going to open another page in protection and device security policy so where is does this reside um, we can get that get back to that later so it's saying factory reset remove company data remove device uh, <clears throat> this tells me that these are about the devices that uh, your company gives out and for that we have um, set up uh, in tune if you remember when we were doing I think it was uh, when we were doing uh, OneDrive so that's when we activated it and got the trial for that so <clears throat> Basically, Intune is that uh, uh, you use to manage all the mobile devices, and it's been mer merged in Azure Active Directory now, uh, or Azure. So, Apple push notification, uh, like Apple push notification certificate settings. So, status is unavailable. You can click on I agree. So, <clears throat> and when you click next. So you need an Apple ID and then you can download or uh, in, install it as a certificate on the iOS device. So then the iOS device will let you wipe that device. Like when you, when you give out to some user and <clears throat> it's not like that you want to wipe their data. When they lost the device, when they report to you, hey, did you I have this company device, it has company's data on it, but I've lost it. Um, I, people lose phones all the time in the bar in the yeah in the taxis in you know <clears throat> subways for, it's very common it's more common than you would think uh, like if you remember the first iPhones every year when whenever there was a leak it was on the those phones were either found in a bar or in the back of taxi the uber or something so <clears throat> it is very common for people to lose that uh, device so from here you can basically the they you're uh, uh, since you're managing them through intune they will show up here and then all you have to do is just what you want to do you select that device here and then you want to factory reset the device so the do de device will uh, everything will be erased all personal data including every app or whatever you have downloaded if you have had set up emails accounts everything it will be like a brand new when you open it it's uh it ha you have to set that phone up it will be in that condition remove company data only so <clears throat> it, this will be this you want to do this one as user leaves the company they're no longer part of it but they are legit uh, personnel <clears throat> and you're wishing them good but you do not want them to uh, have any of your company data on their devices uh, and you do not want to rely on them to be able to remove it because it's not that they don't have intent to it's like maybe they miss something so you can and when you have an option do it option uh, like uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, from your end the third one is remove device this one does is that a user has left the company you have <clears throat> used the second option and remove your company data you no longer want that device to show up in here as well so then you remove the device this is it it's very easy and this is like for the apple maybe they have a, something that they want you to <coughs> have upload your certificates on those devices so then they allow you to perform those actions and this is it so let's see what the device policies are so it's saying 
so this is the policies that you will apply on phones and for example uh, it, now we know all these phones they have their own apps as well they maybe they don't want to rely on um, your outlook outlook app they maybe they want to use google app. like gmail in gmail you can add a microsoft account as well and maybe they want to use the default app uh, from the the mail app so you you create these policies to manage them and maybe they want to access OneDrive from within the uh, folder view of that device so this is what you want to do and you create a policy creating a policy is easy just like that we have seen test mobile policy click next policy settings prevent simple passwords so you do not want them to use simple password on their cell phones uh, because that's a security breach that could be anybody could guess it require an alphanumeric password that they cannot use just for example a last name or their son's name their daughter's name their wife's name and their anybody loves names so most of the people you will be surprised when uh, uh, spectrum they use their pet name they love them so some people they use a, um, um, a teen's name require an alphanumeric password so now but at least you can set how many characters so it has at least uh, four alpha four numeric so or minimum one at least one uh, number right so basically it has it it should have at least minimum password length you want to uh, the industry standard is eight for example if they want to uh, use um, brown so it's only five letters right so no then you ha they have to add three more letters to make it at least this one and out of those three uh, this defines that it has to be four and four but if I do that one so it has to be one at least one uh, alpha or at least one numeric for example they can choose uh, seven uh, in, uh, letters and one number or they can use seven numbers and one letter number sign in failure before device is five so for iPhone the default uh, I'm, I'm not talking about Alpha 365 I'm talking about our iPhone ID the Apple ID uh, you have 10 uh, uh, attempts so for example if you make 10 failed attempt your son daughter anybody and you know they're trying to log in um, all the data will be wiped that's why I guard my phone very good and I don't want my son, you know whenever he picks it up without asking me I always tell him did you ask me why didn't you you should have but luckily he just makes a video and for to make a video you don't need to enter the password so um, so far I have escaped or dodged that uh, bullet that will wipe <laughs> my phone completely that uh, will be a day that I don't look forward to look log device if they are inactive for this many minutes this one uh, again like uh, on the phone like we all have our phones that have setting that lock the screen so this you are superseding that so if a user has chosen that uh, their device be locked out uh, after for example 15 minutes or after 30 minutes but this will supersede it because it's your it's your business device you are giving it to them so you set everything up and you can control it from here rather than you go and individually set on those devices <clears throat> password expiration days like you want to keep it at least uh, 90 days so <clears throat> this is like uh, when they need to be changed the password so it's again to prevent the unauthorized access to the, that information on those mobile devices prevent reuse this is becoming more and more common uh, I have seen that it's 14 like it's I think it's at shorter spectrum it's 14 or no I'm sorry I think it's seven passwords and 14 days before they can change password again yep so this one is like <clears throat> this is to prevent users from using same password back and forth back and forth so what they do is they will change they will use for example I'm giving an example 
they choose a b c d one two three four and then they see they set uh, x y z one two three four five and back and forth no so it's you want to set this a little bit high so there is a less chance of the, them ever going back to the same password again or it will be a while before they can <clears throat> Require data encryption on device. This you must click. This basically encrypts the data. So even if a user uh, or a, either, even if somebody gets unauthorized access to the data, it's not as simple as reading this. It will be encrypted, and they need to go a step further, decrypt it, and you know. So <clears throat> it's it it is possible with high level. Um, uh, breaking devices but yes it's a layer of security if you must prevent jailbroken rooted devices from connecting this is very important this is grayed out so you cannot uncheck it uh, jailbreaking uh, jailbroken devices are when um, if you know or not uh, jail uh, it was very common back in the day um, about like for iPhone 4 5 6 it, people were uh, releasing the tools that you could use to jailbreak iphone so mainly that was to use the iphone with other carriers because at and had monopoly over it and then rooted devices on the android this is to get <coughs> um, access to um, a far more option than the operating system provided uh, and to access the file system require require managing email profile required for selective wipe on ios so that email and we saw this here the certification you have to add an I, apple id that is an email address so basically that is when you want to wipe the data so you have to have proper credentials and it's about then then allow access and report violation so this one is you have set everything here and that device uh, does not meet either of the criteria what do you want to do do you want to allow access and report violation so it will show up and you can go and talk to that user make sure that they comply and get or you're more stricter you are you block access report violation so you know that they're blocked they may or may not realize it they say hey what's wrong and blah blah and <clears throat> and report violation you don't want to wait them wait for them to realize and then come talk to you it's since it's been reported to you you can actually go and talk to them and i say that your device is blocked this is the reason fix it and you will be able to access it next one is require encrypted backup <clears throat> do you want that uh, do you want like it's the second kind of options if you want you can skip it but it based on how uh, strict your organization is encrypted backup like the backup is encrypted as well blah block cloud backup you do not want uh, uh, to have a backup on the cloud like OneDrive or Google <coughs> and Drive ETC block documented document synchronization uh, that we synchronize between your local computer to um, uh, OneDrive so you don't want it's the like policies like you don't want to synchronize files from one another block photo so this is this will only apply document this will apply on the pictures as well screen capture it's very uh, mm, popular people take a screenshot of their phone do you want that to block block video conference on device so this device you have a specific purpose and you don't want video conferencing done on that device sending diagnostic data from devices so if they are running diagnostic tools you want to block sending it out that remains on the device block access to application store this one like you since it's a business device and you want it to run um, as smooth as possible so you want to uh, no, you want no, no, not to have them access to the Apple, uh, Apple or Android stores to ex download for example games or all other uh, application that will actually slow down the uh, um, device but will actually um, hold sp space as well 
so or you want to require password when accessing application store so and you since you have the password or you want to access set a password even if you give them so you know nobody else can download any uh, app on their phones uh, it's a from security standpoint as well like nobody downloads uh, any tracking device on uh, any tracking apps on that block connection with removable storage like you don't want those mobile devices to ha have any connection with the removable storage so you will uh, say hey what's the removable for a phone um samsung phones um they have uh, a slot where you can actually insert a uh, removable uh, tiny micro sd card up to 256 gb in my phone i have a 64 gb card on it that is uh, so i have 64 gb native that's built in and then i have added another 64 gb card micro sd samsung gave it to for free it was a promotion so i just added it on the phone the last one is block bluetooth connection so uh I will suggest yes to that because Bluetooth is near field. Uh, it's not NFC, but it's like near. You have to be in a certain distance for it to be activated. And I noticed that way back in the uh, few years, I had uh, connected my phone to my car's Bluetooth. And now I'm not sure, but sometimes, well, I don't know if it's the car or what, sometimes my Bluetooth is on, on my phone. And I don't use Bluetooth uh, headset or all that. I, I like uh, the phone the old traditional way in my hand or occasionally when I'm driving um, uh, I don't take uh, calls when I'm driving but occasionally when it's uh, very important or I'm expecting somebody's call while I'm driving so I uh, put in the uh, the uh, the uh, earphone cable so and, uh, and I'm sad they all removed the uh, audio jack all right so let's see what's the next one do you want to apply this policy now yes or no so you add it and this is the, the like uh, what group do you want to apply it on let's see it we could put it on president as well just to piss off our current president just kidding <laughs> if he did not get it uh, he likes his uh, um, um, tweeting and all that so all right so let's go test mobile policy create this policy so right now we're creating it all right so it's been test we can refresh it it will show up here so it's all set this is the this is the overview of uh, uh, data loss prevention and device security policies if this video is helps help you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one